go ahead and say angle, okay. So the abdominal aorta and the inferior vena cava are the large red and blue tubes running through the abdomen. Okay, where the abdominal aorta splits is in the pelvis and each side is the common iliac artery. Then the common iliac artery splits to the internal iliac artery which goes medial in the pelvis and just ends. And the external iliac artery which is going to continue down into the thigh and become the femoral artery. The deep femoral artery goes off lateral from the femoral artery. The popliteal artery runs along the backside of the knee. And then down in the leg it splits to the fibular artery which is lateral the anterior tibial artery, which is medial and in the front, and the posterior tibial artery, which is medial and in the back. On the venous side, you have basically all of those vessels with two additional. So this is the fibular vein, which truncates on the wire model, but it is continuous in the leg. Here's the anterior tibial vein, and the posterior tibial vein. And just a reminder to kind of watch where all of these branches come together and compare it to the red side. The most lateral vein is the small saphenous vein, which is not on the arterial side. It runs up the lateral edge of the leg and connects into the femoral vein above the popliteal vein. So right here between all these branches is the popliteal vein. This is the femoral vein. Running up the medial edge of the leg and most of the thigh is the great saphenous vein. So it's larger than the small saphenous and also connects into the femoral vein. Here's the deep femoral vein, this lateral offshoot, same as the arterial side. Once it passes back into the pelvis, this is the external iliac vein, internal iliac vein. Where those come together is the common iliac vein. And then where the common iliac veins from the left and right come together to one tube is the inferior vena cava.